going on everybody we're back at our irving property uh, we have a couple other videos that you guys click on the link below to kind of see when we first got the property while we were working on it and uh, we're almost about 98 percent finished there's just a couple of cleaning up items that we need to do and i just wanted to kind of show you the final product and see where uh we're at i'll show you guys uh what the property is looking like so All right guys, so we're here at inside the kitchen. This is what the kitchen looks like now at the uh, Irving property that we finished up. As you guys can see uh, behind me, it looks completely different to what it was. There were some walls and uh, thanks to my wife that has the uh, you know visuals to really kind of see and plan out how things uh, should be opened up. So there's a lot of uh, walls that we had to move around and open up and um, we really enjoyed how this turned out. Nice open uh, concept with some nice uh, quartz uh, countertops, um, white shaker cabinets, and um, you know stainless steel appliances, refrigerator line hookup. So uh, really happy how we uh, turned out. Obviously uh, glad that we ended up uh, restoring and, and using some of the hardwood floors. You guys are going to see a big difference in the bathrooms as well on how those came out with some nice uh, Alaskan white porcelain tile along with some uh, nice clear glass, um, rain shower uh, overhead. And uh, we even put some uh, Bluetooth, um, uh, Bluetooth music um, lights in the bathrooms that people enjoy. That way when they take a shower, a lot of people like to play some music so you can hook it up directly to your um, to your phone. And we got both of those in both bathrooms. And uh, we're just still um, in the process of doing a little bit of cleanup around the property, uh, around the backyard. There's a lot of debris from uh, some, of the, some of the trash and some of the um, uh, demo material that uh, we were um, you know, having in the, in the property. So, so uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is a lot of uh, you know folks reach out, family, friends, and they want to find out what the process looks like. How can I get involved in real estate investing? Well, this particular proper property, we basically use what's called the Burr strategy, right? And what the Burr strategy basically is, is you buy a property, you rehab the property, you rent it out, you refinance, and then you repeat. So that's exactly what we did with this property. A lot of times you guys may look at me and other investors and think that, you know, we're just buying these properties with our own cash. 90, 95% of the time, we're not doing that. We're leveraging, we're using OPM, other people's money, right? The wealthy, they always use three things, right? They use other people's money, other people's efforts, and other people's ideas, right? So on this particular property, we found it. It was at a good price point to being able to do the strategy. So we bought it with hard money loan and they also uh, let us um, borrow money to do the rehab so we bought it we rehab the property which obviously we're finishing up now right we're in the process of renting out the property to a nice tenant or it can be a short-term rental so we're renting it out and then we're right now in the process of refinancing the property so we have a short-term loan that's typically six to twelve months that's typically a higher interest rate but it's only for a short period of time so the money that we owe currently on the property, we're paying interest only. And what happens is we're refinancing that money over to traditional uh, financing, right? Where we're gonna be able to get somewhere between three to four and a half percent interest rate on the, on the, on the loan. So now we're gonna uh, uh, have a loan for long term and uh, we're gonna refinance and basically take any money that we've invested into it, whether we invested a little bit out of pocket or whatever the case may be. And now we're just gonna repeat the process. So after all is said and done, we're gonna have basically zero dollars into this property and we're gonna be cash flowing anywhere from about six to seven hundred dollars initially. And once we do the actual Airbnb, that cash flow can be two, three, four thousand dollars. So that's the end goal on this particular property. And I suggest you check out a little bit more information on the birth strategy, which is uh, something that a lot of folks are doing. 
that you know you can do one, two, three, four of these properties and have two, three, four thousand dollars in consistent cash flow. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys on the next video.